the weekly code quiz. We introduced the idea that you can limit the maximum width and height of an element. What controls the content when it is larger than the maximum width and height we have set? The overflow property. What are possible values for overflow? The value for overflow can either be hidden or scroll. What happens when the value is set to hidden? With hidden, any content that overflows will be hidden. What happens when the value is set to scroll? With scroll, a scroll bar is added so that the user can scroll to see the missing content. Let's look at an example. Here we have a sample demo code page where we have coded in the HTML, a section that contains an H3 heading element and paragraph text filled with placeholder lorem ipsum text. The ellipsis indicates there is much more text than is shown. The CSS shows the two options. In the first option, the overflow pop property is set to hidden, while in the second option, the overflow property is set to scroll. With hidden, we see that the text gets cut off as soon as the maximum height of 400 pixels is reached. With scroll, a scroll bar appears, and you can scroll through the text to see all of the text available. Presented by Designers Learn Code.